How's it going Troops, welcome back to the Rangers FIFA 23 career mode Another episode then, starting off with Aberdeen Just before we get into it As I said in the last video, only about 9% or so of you guys are subscribed That are watching the video, so please if you could subscribe That would be a massive help to me Also before we get into this game, I did look And with round of 16 for our Champions League tie has been made And it is against Borussia Dortmund So, a massive trip to Germany to start off our Champions League round 16 and then the second leg will be at Ibrox hopefully come back with a positive result but you never know I don't know what kind of team Dortmund will have this uh, is the second season of FIFA but we'll see it'll be a challenge either way but face first of all a challenge against Aberdeen after a bit of a poor episode last time out losing our first game with Scotland manager and then losing to Celtic for the first time. I think it's the first time anyway, I don't think we... Well, Kilman and it's an early 1-0. Simple as that, Aberdeen cut apart. And Malak Kilman easily makes it 1-0. Tobias with some good skill. Yelmaz with a quick pass to him and he just turns inside out, turns Stewart inside out in the middle. And then places it past the keeper. Magic Malik, 12 goals and 16 games for him. Four minutes into this game and we lead 1-0 at Pitodri. Vascan, ooh, nearly makes a tackle. That's another team, Bolton will tackle. Nearly the perfect ball for Zabayos. Rangers through again. Zabayos up to Reese Nelson. So many blue shirts in the box waiting. Tillman's one of them and he's got two. Magic Mark Tillman back at it again. Rangers have a solid 2 0 lead. Very early in this game. Is it going to get to the point where we can simulate the rest of the game? Can we get three or four goals in this first half? Shoot there for Aberdeen. Tackle by Tavernier. Davies up to Tillman. Tillman tackled by McKenzie. McCrory dispossessed by Yilmaz. Yilmaz up to Davies. Davies swerges out to Rhys Nelson. Rhys Nelson through ball perfectly weighted for Tavernier. Tavernier's got a fit of Morales at the back. Ooh. Too close to the keeper. Ranger skipper Nelson Rasko Morelos Hard ball surely A free kick opportunity for James Tavernier And we got a goal here It's off the wall and it nearly comes to Malik Kilman Him looking for a first half hat trick Tavernier surely winning that header it does Bolton down to Bassey Free kick run for Rangers. James Tavern here. Can he get a goal this time? It's off the head of the wall. He can't get past Duke. Duke can't get past Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson there. 
Coming forward for Rangers. Last now. Oh, tried to lay him off, but missed him. It's a poor through ball. Morelos, Tillman. Oh, Tillman's touch too heavy. Oh, I've had the ball right set the man, but gets the ball. This for Tillman, that could have been an excellent ball if the keeper hadn't read it. Very comfortable game so far for Rangers. No troubles. And I'd like to say that we might have some. Don't sound like great tackle. Gets Aberdeen a corner, but better than conceding a goal. Tom Davies clears it with a header. with some calm defending. Ceballos, Davies, back to Ceballos, the number 10 coming forward now. So Yilmaz making that run on the left. Yilmaz, oh. Tell me. That's a good ball from, oh, what a goal. Mark Tillman. And Nicholas Roskan linking up, and it is 3 0, and it's a hat trick from Malik Tillman. Look at that play. It's on the volley, too. Nothing bad you can say about that. A great goal from Rangers. And it's a first half hat trick for Malik Tillman coming right before the end of the first half. Oh, and Davies picks it up. Could be. We had a four before half time. From Davies, is oh, a decent for a touch. Oh, hell, Aberdeen under some pressure. Oh, you can't have blow the whistle there, ref, surely. It is 3 0 at Pataudry. We are going to simulate the second half as we do not need to play it. And it ends four. It's another Tillman goal right before the end of the game. Malik Tillman with four goals against Aberdeen. He is their worst enemy. And in for Malik Tillman. Crushes Aberdeen. They're down to fourth. Celtic got a game in hand, but are currently sitting seven points behind us. Could bring that gap down to four if they win their game. They did win their game. Now we face third place Hearts. Who have beat us already this season, I'm pretty sure. Did they? I'm pretty sure Hearts beat us. Yeah, they beat us 2 0. <coughs> they beat us 2 0 at Tang Castle earlier in the seat. Tang Castle? No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> earlier in the season, they won 2 0. We're still sitting ahead of them by a lot. By nine points, only four points ahead of us. The league is already so much closer than it was last year, I think. But regardless, we go into looking to pick up three points and go climb further away with the league. Tillman's going to stay on. Catmull's going to get a game. Bassey is also going to stay as centre half. Reese Nelson. I'm going to rest the BIOS for the next game. And I think I'll rest. Tom Davies at the moment. Yeah, we'll do that. <coughs> That's the team. The Hearts will be facing at Ibrox. Solid team. Hopefully picking up three points here today. Well, Hearts have troubled us this season already. 
a win from Hearts would put them within six points of us, but it would also give Celtic the opportunity to come within a point of the first place spot. Celtic have had a much better season than they did last year. At this point last year, I'm pretty sure they were near, near about fifth or something. The old Mazio Kaka. And most of them down to Raska. Raska and down to Tabernier. Oh, Marcus Tabernier's ball blocked. Shanker tackled by Goldson. Raska and Leigh. Good for Malik Tillman. Oh, that's Rose. Gets the tackle away. Tillman. Tillman. Hudson. For Morelos. Oh, what a save. Great by football. And good passing from Rangers. It's a save by Xander Clark. Oh, Raskin, what the hell happened there? Oh, boy, surely Mark Scarborough is to catch him. He does. He's just the second time. Ah, oh, see, what a good tackle. John Lundstrom was giving it away. Manages to get a foot on the stop. Shanklin going through. A shaky defending going on here. But now let's look at the Cardwell. Oh, and he really finds him. Kingsley can't keep it in. James Tavenier. Raskan. Tillman Tavenier going forward now. Tavenier's touch too heavy. Shantland. Tavira, great tackle. Such a back and forth game so far. Tillman down to Marcus Tavernier. Oh, it rolls his leg again. He's beating him for pace every single time. James Tavernier, another great tackle. Oh, but the ball up to Morelos. Can't make it. Another interception from James Tavernier. Oh, Marcus Tavernier's burst away. He's got Cartwell looking for it. He's free in the middle. It's 1 0. Rangers finally break Hart's defence. And it's 1 0. And it's Todd Cartwell with the goal. Off the bench for Zabios today. And it's 1 0 to Rangers. Davy Bates aside, maintaining their title charge surely in this game in what could possibly be his final season at Rangers, I know he's only had one season already, one full season but could he only be doing, looking at a two, season, a two season career at Rangers, where will he move next will it be Premier League, will it be La Liga it could be Serie A you don't know, you'll never know until the end of the season James Tavernier now, coming forward not a lot of options in the box Oh, Raska, that would have been silky. Oh, James Tavenier coming out of absolutely nowhere to win them. What happened there? Free kick to Hearts, not sure why, but hey ho. and defines cover. Ooh, Raskin with an arrow, we flick through for Mark Tillman. Well, Raskin's giving it away. Barry McKay. That's his tackle missed. Yilmaz gets the kick away. 
Hillman. Now Tavernier finds him. Tavernier with silky moves. Oh! Just puts it wide. Oh, it's unlucky from the Englishman. We are approaching half time, and it could finish 1 0 at the first half. A very close game so far here at Ibrox. Well, Shanklin's through and goal, and he scores right before half time. I was convinced he was offside there, but perhaps not. Calvin Bassey just tries to put a muscle in there, but misses completely. It's Lawrence Shanklin, it's an easy finish for him. Should we add him to the starting lineup in Scotland team? How many goals is he on this season? Nine goals in 19 games. Not bad, but not great. The referee great. has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute of added time. Oh, I can't wait. That would have been lovely. Right, referee, I'm just going to say, blow the whistle. I mean, if that was me that just got a through, through on goal, I'd be fuming, but... When you're nearly an extra minute over time already, Christ. Celtic currently drawing 1-1 with St Mirren. We are drawing 1-1 with Hearts. If both results stay this way, or if we lose and Celtic win, that could just completely open up the title race. And I'll make the next old firm so important. Roscoe. Tavernier. No, we've got nearly two seasons. And we still haven't had a penalty. Roscan has a goal! Oh, it's off the post! Yilmaz wild in uh, position now. Needs to get back in. Oh, and him and Goldson have collided. This could smell disaster. It's in for Morris, but Valdivore comes out quicker. Quicker? Quicker. And he can react. But it's still 1 1. Hearts have a really good opportunity there. Midvan Yilmaz. Alfredo Morelos. Through on goal, surely. Oh, save. Cantwell. Oh. Goldson. Out to James Tavernier. Tavernier back in the box. Todd Cantwell. Can't win the header. It's a free kick to somebody. I'm not sure who or why. Bruce Nielsen going to come on for Todd Cartwell now, just to freshen it up a bit. It's a free kick to Rinder. In a dangerous position, can James Tavnier find the back of the net? Off the ball again, that's like three free kicks in a row from him. Max Tavnier, cool. Poor attempt, Joe Aribo is going to replace him though. For the rest of the game, I want more freshness. We need more attacking regs on the pitch. More attacking fresh legs, anyway. Tillman. Bit of Reese Nelson. Roscoe. Back to Arrivo. Joe Arrivo. Oh, he passed. I'm not allowed to go to lunch to him. Not fucking Tillman. Oh, and Hearts could be in here. Barry McCoy, Yilmaz on the chase. What a solid tackle that was. Just Nelson, tackle. Surely a throw for Rangers, it is. Yilmaz, Lundstrom. Gilman, tackle. Hart's defence has been absolutely solid today. Down to Barry McCoy, Yilmaz on the chase.
Lundstrom up to Tillman. Well, it's up to Arivo. Arivo's onside and he scores! Rangers 2, Hearts 1. And it is Joe Arivo, the substitute. He's come on and possibly won the game for Rangers. Just curls it around under Clark. Good play from Rangers coming down that left hand side. Hearts will look for a quick response. According to that guy, the commentator for that is Joe Aribo. Like fucking Aribo. Hearts will be pressing like mad, looking for a sequelizer. Tavri around, could intercept it. Rangers can break now. Can they make it? Can they add a third? Can they finish off Hearts? In for Reese Nelson, cleared away. Oh, he's not very far. Oh. All the slight tackles in the world, world weren't winning that ball back. He's over the top of Barry McKay, it's a great ball. Oh, that's a good block, an important block. Hearts. Plenty of time still for them to get an equaliser. Cleared away by Conor Goldson. Good tackle from Munster. Nelson. On the break, go okay, for Rangers. Oh, the ball through is just too heavy. Could have been through and set Manelas on. The score, the definite winner. Bassi with a block. He kicked for some reason. Bassi clears. Not a lot of time left for either team. Morelos, Civic with a block. Throw in. Good ball from the old man. Reese Nelson charging it to the box now. Morelos. Sandman Clark gets it. Oh my god, what a ball that is. The body of the Hearts looking for a final attempt. Offside by the guy and Rangers have the ball back in possession and can take the time. Two minutes on the dog. Tavi Bassi fires it to Tavi and Rangers on out of third. Last man over the top for a third. And Manelos, and Manelos out of third and he's won it. The leaders with a guaranteed three points. A safe three points. Rangers, three one up now. Hearts have played really well, you have to say. The Rangers just had too much for them today. A solid performance from the boys in blue. Two shots and Celtic draw. That puts us well. Oh well, there would have been three. So six points clearer than now. Six points clear of Celtic now after they draw away to Saint Mirren, and we face an away trip to Motherwell. Let's have a quick look at our upcoming games because I'm not sure what they are. Oh, so we have the January transfer window actually coming up. So that'll be another live stream, I think. Or will we just make it a video? I think I'll probably just make it a video because there's only two games. There's only two games, so I don't see a point. We're not going to be making that many signings, so. There won't be too many signings in, in this January anyway, so there's not much of a point of live streaming it, I think. Uh, but, regardless, skip the conference straight into the game against Motherwell, which I think I'm going to simulate. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to quick sim. Come on. Yes. 
Tillman, Zabios, and Tillman again. Two from Tillman. It's a 3 1 win again. This time away from home. This takes us into the last game of December. St Johnson sitting dead bottom of the table. We sit still six points clear of second place. And once again, this is going to be simulated. Come on. That's another 3 1 win. Two from Morelos and a goal from Zabios. Another good performance from the boys. This time in orange, not blue. But guys, we are absolutely cruising towards. Is that like, did they lose? No. Still six words. I was going to say I thought they lost. Still six points clear. We have an offer for Marcus Tavernier, which I'm going to decline. We are cruising towards another league title. Raska. I'm going to say no, but if somebody comes in and pays nearly 30 million for him, yes, you can have him. That's absolutely fine. More a transfer from Morelos. Oh, he's 27 now. You know, about 15 million, not enough. I would want 20, 20 plus. Not happening. Manager award? Is that the first manager award we have? Manager of the year? Oh, hell. Look at that. Tillman, absolutely not. We cannot be selling more at Tillman. We are getting, <coughs> pardon me, we are getting through January. We're nearly at the end of it already. Not any offers coming in that interest us. Let's have a quick look at my transfer list and see who, if there's anybody. Why is it being all glitchy? What's happening? really annoying. Can't view the rest of the... Oh well. Who else do we have on here? Alberto Moreno, centre mid, free agent. Your man's still a free agent. Harry Winks signed a pre-contract with our club. Fair dues. 74 overall. I don't really think I don't really, I don't really see anybody that I'm I'm interested in. Let's have a week scoom at the Premier League. Max Allen's could be a solid replacement for Tavernier because Tavernier's getting on at his thirty, so scout him. Oh, he's been approached at some point because he'll be he'll get bought and then we'll just it'll be pointless. So we just buy Trent off. I mean, we all know that's just slightly unrealistic. <laughs> hmm. I'm, seeing any, <coughs> I'm not seeing anyone that's really kind of... Can you have your face? No. Get rid of it. Oh, well. Oh, hold on. This is working now. Who have we got? Quadrado, Van de Beek... Jimenez, no. Nothing really. What's on this one? Absolutely, absolutely fucking not. Remove him. We're not buying Celtic players. No way. Anyway, we're going to advance ahead. Progress support, happy days. Van de Voort, no chance are we selling him. 21 year old and nearly 80 year old, and he's solid in nets for us. I've certainly made a signing. Who have they signed? Maturo Martinez has got to Atletico Madrid. Jude Bellingham, Arsenal have signed Jude Bellingham for 96 million. Holy shit. 
fucking hell. I hate... Right, so the reason I'm reacting like that is because Nabil Fekir in this game is ridiculously good. I don't know why, he's just really good. And he's signed for Dortmund, and that's who we have in the... In the... Uh, Champions League. Anyway, we move on. We are going to simulate this game against. We did lose Dundee United when we simmed the game earlier. 3 2. Zabios, Morelos, and Tavernier with the goals. Another win for the boys. We are flying, absolutely cruising towards another title. Another game we are going to simulate. We're going to get ourselves to the end of the transfer window in this game. Yeah, this game, this episode. Simulate. Come on. Yes! Morelos. And Morelos. Two goals for him today. A 2 0 win over Aberdeen. And it's another win. I don't know how many wins on the bounce that is, but it's just win after win. We are 12 points clear. Celtic must be drawing some games because we are now 12 points clear. No, we're not fucking 12 points clear. Fuck me. <laughs> Eight points clear. Eight points clear of Celtic. We haven't drawn a single game this season. We've won 20 and lost three. That's fine by me. But we're just coming to the end of the January transfer window. And I can't really think of any signings I need to make. I don't think I need to strengthen any other area of the... Any other area of the team. They're all pretty fine. I don't think I. I don't think I need to. Let's have a quick. What I want to have a quick cut is is uh, jobs. If we're at the top of the league, what? Look at their fucking record. Oh fuck me, that's a championship. <laughs> I was gonna fucking. Say, I was gonna say, holy god, what the hell is going on over there? So the only jobs available at the moment are three champions are the three teams that went down, and there's three championship uh, teams: Everton, Southampton, and Brighton. All in the championship: Everton first, Southampton second, Brighton are in fifth. So what I want to know, guys, is do we apply for any of these jobs, or do we wait for the end of the season and see if any bigger game, bigger teams come up? I'm gonna skip deadline day totally. Because I don't have any interest in selling any of my players or... Yeah, that's all fine. Lunchtime wanted by West Ham. I'm going to reject... Yeah, I'm going to reject him. Because he's only 29, so... He can still give a few years to the team. But, that is going to do it for this episode. We're going to pick it up in the next one against ninth place Livingston as we look towards getting a second league title. Thank you so much for watching if you did. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next episode.